Well, we have some chilly temperatures again this afternoon, but we're taking a step up by about five degrees over yesterday's highs and then another step up tomorrow. So we're gradually getting back to normal January temperatures, but still overall for the month, we're running above average for January temperatures. Here's a look at your six hour radar loop. We still have some lake effect snow flurries and showers. Mainly they're just to the east of Pittsburgh and just into central and southern Indiana, dying out as they stretch down through portions of southern Butler and in through southern Allegheny County into Fayette County. A couple of more snow flurries just into west Western portions of Beaver County, but these will be dying out as we head through the rest of the afternoon. So 22, the current air temperature in Pittsburgh. We're looking at uh, temperatures that are going to be pretty much uh, below average for today and tomorrow. But as we head through the next 48 hours, we get a nice change in our wind direction, a nice southwesterly flow, and that will help boost our temperatures back up to closer to normal for this time of year. As we look through the uh, next 24 hours, really temperatures tomorrow morning going to be in the teens again, but that's the last of the really chilly mornings. And the wind chill won't be as bad because our winds are dying down as we speak. There you see the radar loop and as I mentioned, we have uh, temperatures that are going to, well, let me click back on the map here. I'm going back in circles, right? I'll tell you about the wind chill again. 13 degrees the wind chill, but as we head through this afternoon, we are looking at temperatures that are going to start to increase and we get the clouds breaking. Uh, for some sun and we'll show you that now here as I put this into play as our camera momentarily there you see is showing a little bit of cloud cover breaking for some sun. So the winds over the weekend were gusting upwards of 20, 25 miles per hour, but they've started to die down now. And uh, for the most part, for the most part, we're looking at uh, the flurries dying out uh, really east of I-79 over the next hour. So there you see even some peaks of sunshine showing on the other direction across the river. Temperature up to 30 by later on this afternoon. And there you see those last few flurries hanging around portions of Butler County, Beaver County, and then down through the lake effect areas into northeastern Ohio, just starting to get the moisture supply cut off. So future cast is showing that we're looking at mainly just cloudy skies the rest of the day. And then as we head toward tomorrow, mixture of clouds and sun, actually a pretty nice day tomorrow. Temperatures will be right around average in the mid to upper 30. So not much happening moisture wise until we get all the way until Friday evening. And by then the temperature will be close to 40. So we could see some rain showers, believe it or not, down and then back up. 30 the afternoon high today. Overnight 16 with mainly clearing skies. So look for that sun to gradually emerge this afternoon. Not completely sunny skies, but partly cloudy. Then tomorrow, mostly sunny. Thursday, a nice day, cloudy, but 45. Friday will be nice until we get some evening rain showers. Then a mixture of rain and snow showers Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures near normal, upper 30s, close yeah. to 40. We talked last week about skiing. I took the kids skiing yesterday, <sighs> Hidden Valley. It was gorgeous, and it was nice to have those colder temperatures to get yeah, that snow. Absolutely. I know they're making snow, making snow at all yeah. the resorts and it'll stay cold enough. So I'm going Thursday. I'm and they had a lot of fresh snow out there too. So yeah, definitely. It, was good. it was all white. <laughs> for, for winter lovers, it's finally time. It was good. Thanks, Kristen.